What's up? This video is for those of you who are trying to rank up in Rocket League and don't know how to train. Well, I'm going to show you exactly my training routine. You can do it or you cannot do it. It's your choice. The first thing I do is go into free play and make sure my computer is running properly before queuing up a ranked match. Because sometimes my controllers are remapped or something's up. The frames are dropping. So you just want to make sure that you go into free play first and then go into a ranked match that's the bare minimum if you want to do a little bit more training then chase the ball in training for about five minutes before queuing up a five minute ranked match right you should be training twice as much as you're playing that's how pros do it that's how everybody on this planet actually becomes good at anything you train three times as hard as you actually play pro tip once you've done free play for five minutes and you've chased the ball around for five minutes and you tried all your different little mechanical things and you were trying to do your recoveries properly so you're incorporating wave dashes and you're just throwing yourself around the field like a rag doll and you're re recovering from whatever's happening right car cam when you want to get to the ball efficiently and you want to get your mechanics down like super good and ball cam to kind of like follow through with the ball or you know read the situation or positioning of your opponents you're going to be using ball cam so in training i'm kind of practicing ball cam car cam see what i'm saying if that's too boring for you then i do recommend some workshops if you're really going try hard with your mechanics and you really want to go try hard workshops uh i got this old school workshop map that is great for mechanical recoveries abilities testing your mechanics just this this workshop here i learned from kefpert one of one of my favorite old school youtubers i think it's 1.7 no it's 1.11 and then 1.12 so 1.11 is slaloms baby but what you're supposed to do is do it quickly and efficiently without air roll once you've done that do it backwards don't air roll put your car sideways and do it Incorporate air roll only after you're comfortable with doing even the side ones. Anyways, once you've had fun with slaloms and you did all the different angles, go into 1.12. Gravitational failure. Basically teaching you guys how to basically control your car downwards. Because when you're trying to read those backboard double taps and you have to read the downward stuff, well, this is how you can practice this. So what I like to do on this one, basically because it's so easy, uh, you just go back back and forth and incorporate air roll again. It just teaches you a whole different setup for, you know, recoveries. Like aerial recoveries are hard enough to practice, but this definitely gives you that advantage. Anyways, once you've done those two, another fun one is one point, either one... I'm going to say 1.18. Yeah, this one here. So here there's no gravity. Basically, there is no gravity. Have fun with the mechanics and go through the workshop map. But at the same time, understand how you're supposed to adjust when you're supposed to adjust, right? So if you're going to hit a wall, yeah, freestyle. But at the same time, don't hit that wall. You know what I'm saying? See that little minor adjustments there? That's just Rocket League, boys. That's just how you play Rocket League. If that's too boring for you and you don't know what else to do, well, there's another workshop that I like to do. Lethemir's Rings Map. This is just one of those super fun aerial trainings. Just do it to the end. Have fun with it. Anyways, incorporate arrow right and arrow left into Rings Map to make it even more interesting. There's another old school workshop map that I highly recommend you do is, if you haven't done it already, is Dribble to Overhaul. So basically this workshop here is, well, the rules are simple. You can't let the ball touch the floor. But what I recommend you do is challenge yourself, like flick the ball like early. Try to get to that net early. You know what I mean? Like here I missed it, but obviously this is an easy one. But if I try to flip it across the water into the net, that's way more impressive, right? So what just happened there? So here, let's try to incorporate an air dribble and then catch it recover it there we go that's way more impressive right i'm challenging myself to do this workshop map very hard right i'm sure if you do these maps and then you hop into a ranked match you'll feel way more comfortable
And that's it. Try it out. I'm Joey. See you guys next time. Peace out.